great to catch up on programs we've been watching since the first stages. And now UMS Skeldar is celebrating a milestone. Here's David Willems. UMS has finally reached a significant milestone with its naval programs by filling the V200 for full automatic takeoff and landing on board of a very international naval force. This is a milestone because it is the first time that a drone can take off and land without any human being in the loop. So it's fully autonomous and can be quite tricky. David, what happens if it goes wrong? Absolutely, and that's a very good question. So you have actually a number of devices on the deck of the ship that analyze the position constantly of the ship, the row, the pitch, the, the effects of the waves, and with some very sophisticated software, the autonomous decision for the landing phase, the last few meters, is made at the right moment. Everything can go wrong, and of course, a man is always capable of taking over the controls if need be. But it's also a safety feature for a lot of the ships, because by not having a man on the deck to remote control the aircraft, you are also preventing any life loss by keeping everybody safe on the ship. And in terms of customers, seeing that first test, when's it going into service? Where do you expect customers to come from in the future? So the, the customers are European customers, European naval customers right now. The capability has been declared fully operational. So we expect to see uh, our uh, unmanned platforms in the international waters in the very near future. Now we can see here in Abu Dhabi, you've got a different UAV. This is the V-150. It is the smaller brother of the V-200. Much smaller aircraft, about 40% smaller, 3.5 meter long, 150 uh, kilogram maximum takeoff weight. It's uh, manufactured in Switzerland. It's ideally suited for the Middle, the Middle East uh, market, actually. Uh, today, you can see it equipped with a NEO from a Westcam, an MX-8, and it has attracted a lot of attention. We have uh, been and we are engaged in many uh, discussions at this point in time and we believe it will be a very good seller in the region. When do you expect to get your first customer? Definitely in 2021.